morning morning everybody michelle is here michelle is here on uh, my favorite day of sunday sunday is uh is my day you know what i mean and it has a lot to do with uh, how relaxed the, you know it's like a relaxing vibe for me you know and i feel that it's a relaxing vibe all over all over the world all over my city county town whatever uh august the 25th 2024 August the 25th 2024 so I put out uh, two videos I think it was yesterday about the potential expectations when you are coming to a point of being properly healed forever okay so I wanted to go ahead and do video three uh, before I get my day started and let you know uh, that what I am sharing with you are processes that I went through to heal Okay, and each one of us, you know, are responsible for our mental health and our well-being. And we know that. So properly healing is one of those. Properly being healed is, is the point. Or just heal. Be healed. And so uh, I've said this for a while. A lot of people have been saying this for, for decades upon decades, probably since the inception uh, which now is a challenge for you to accept this as um, a fallacy or is it true or is it false? Where does it fall in, in line of where you are in your life? It's uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Is that is that how that is? Let's see what that, what, what that, let's, let's see how that's changed. So, a lot of things were indoctrinated into us when we were young children. We all know that. Um, now, some of us were physically abused. Some people say they were emotionally abused. But I think, uh, you know, and I think what, what lingers on for a while until you can interrupt it is the thoughts behind all of those uh, experiences you had in your life whether they were physical emotional mental whatever happened in your life as you, that caused these wounds that most of us cannot see um, but they are there nonetheless and you know where they are they're in our thoughts they're lodged in our thoughts you know in, in our compartments of our thoughts and so this uh, it says it's an English, English language children's rhyme. It says um, the rhyme is used as a defense against name calling and verbal bullying intended to increase resiliency, avoid physical retaliation, and or to remain calm and indifferent. Is that is that, is that true? <laughs> Faults, a fallacy. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words sh shall never hurt me, is what it says here. Now, whether that's what it was originally, I don't know. And then it has here, sticks and stones may break my bones, but, but words will never hurt me. But then it has here, but words shall never hurt me. So there's this playing of words, in my opinion. And so... So when you are healed, you know, approaching that healing point or that healed point, I want to make that very clear, you're healed. Of course, there's going to be remnants, you know, you know, especially if you have scars and stuff, you go, you know, th those things are going to stay there. But you're going to know that you're healed, as I said in the other videos, because you're not triggered. You're not easily triggered. But keep in mind, certain things can trigger you to be you know back in in a in a state of uh uh you know of possibly uh, a crisis or what whatever terms you want to use but it's it's like it's like a you know it's a trigger and what does a trigger mean you know when you're triggered you mean that means what let's look it up so we just stay on the same And you, you know, when you when you're doing this, 
Uh, you just want to know, see, my point is you need to understand the words you're using and the words that you're telling yourself and the thoughts you're having about certain words, you know. And, of course, you know, that word is commercialized all over the place. Um, I just want to see what it says. Um, it says here about your, you need to identify the content of it, the tone, okay, environment. You need to reflect. Okay, I like that. Um, but trigger triggers usually uh, affect people in words, right? Do you agree? Disagree? Just consider it. Think about it. You know, contemplate on it. Play. You know, have some fun with stuff. Fun, not making fun of, is different to having fun. We're not making fun of anybody. We're having fun. We're being light about things. You're healed, right? Okay, and that's how you know if you are or not how easily you are offended by by things that easily trigger you. So it's so important to understand that words are energy and words do cause harm. Words do cause harm. So this sticks and stones, it, what is it? A parable? Um, it's a, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, you know, we're telling this to our children. Okay, and this was written supposedly in the 1830s, right? Um, and, you know, and then it has all these different uh, meanings of it, you know. Sticks and stones may break men's bones, but bad names will not hurt me. You know, all this kind of stuff. So, as you are healed... Do a little bit of reflection on the kind of words that may possibly trigger you and see if you can get on top of why they're triggering you and see if you can figure out how to avoid it and, you know, and be, you know, this, that, that's going to be the hardest part to stay uh, healed is not to be triggered. And a lot of people think, well, um, and they're wondering why they keep ruminating and and and, be, and staying in a spin. And a lot of people say, "Well, you know, it's it's the it's the tones of the words that trigger people." Okay, all you have, you know, so that's why you need to be on top of your thoughts. Make sure you are safe wherever you are. When you know that you're safe and grounded. Sit back and reflect and say, okay, why did that why did that trigger me? And see if you can trace it back to something that you were possibly thinking about, something you possibly heard. There was a sound and tone that sound like the person that was abusing you or a sound and tone. You know, you really need to just kind of, and you, you can only do that. And the psychiatrists and psychologists need to be very honest about this. You cannot tackle these type of, triggers until you are healed otherwise if you're healing all you're doing is going to be chances are you're going to redo it redo it redo it redo it so i'll talk about this stuff a little later you have to talk about certain things that are this important in the right settings and in the right environment because it is about being in safe spaces when you're sharing these type of things and when you are healed when you're healed that's only the beginning because then chances are you're going to open up yourself to other experiences that might cause a different, listen to me, a different wound, okay? And so you want to make sure you're not uh, accumulating all your wounds together when they're, they're not supposed to be together. Some of them should have been taken care of, eliminated, erased. And so you're going to come out with new wounds that you need to deal with. And you'll be properly um, elevating yourself on how to fight these, you know, not fight, how to resolve your issues, how to resolve things that come into your life, that interfere in your life. So being healed is just the beginning. 
okay? But you cannot in introduce different um, concepts and, and, and tactics and strategy and all this stuff to keep yourself healed if you're healing. You're, you know, like I said, it's like a spin. And when something's spinning, you're not going to be able to, to stop it until you resolve it and heal it and neutralize it. It's probably the best word I want to use. So once you get to a healed reality, find out in a gentle, kind way. You can use a therapist to help you with this, but make sure you... We need to allow ourselves individually to have a little bit more say in what helps, you know, help me to stay healed and help me to not be triggered. We cannot just rely on our psychiatrists and our psychologists and our therapists and our guys and our friends and our, you need to be in the front seat of all of that. Okay. Because that's your responsibility. Like I said, your psychiatrists, psychologists, therapists, guides are there to assist and be supportive to you while you're going through all of this. So once you are at that healed point in your life, and you'll know it. Because like I said, certain things do not trigger you. Right? That actual event doesn't necessarily trigger you but sometimes words will okay pay attention to what i'm saying sometimes words will and then the tones of those words may trigger something in you and that's when you need to say okay what just happened there and be kind and gentle about that and like i said no one has to know that i'm gonna, I'm gonna say more about it and um but like I said, just 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 take it step at a time. And I'm going to repeat it one more time. When you are at a healed point in your life, you, your experiences are, you know, you know that that experience, you're no longer in, in danger of that experience that caused you to be healed. You're not necessarily bleeding, literally, figuratively, metaphorically. But I'm telling you, there sometimes there's sounds and tones that can trigger people. Okay? And so, so that's how you need to be reflective and work on that. And talk to your psychiatrist, psychologists, your therapists, people that are guiding you. And make sure they understand that, you know, even though, you know, I can look, you can look at me and say, okay, Michelle looks healthy to me. And I am. Um... Sometimes when you are coming off, come off, and when you are coming to a point of being healed, you know you have to you have to walk that path with uh, with conscious. You know you, have, you need to be very conscious of that path because sometimes words and sounds and tones can trigger you. I'll talk more about that at a later date, but just be reflective, consider what I've just said, and just relax with it enjoy your day enjoy your sunday enjoy each other have a good meal go take a good walk it feels good now this morning we're in our 70s over here you know what i mean and we had i mean less than a month ago triple digits so you see that what's going on there so enjoy your the timing of these moments and i'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains and trust me i will be back <laughs>